Hi Ricky, it's a disappointing 1-0 defeat here at home to Queen of the South today. Can I get your reaction to the, the result and the performance please? Hi, um, it's the performance of so the overall feelings, just uh, sheer disappointment. Um, we know we had to get a result today for to keep ourselves in amongst it and uh, didn't achieve that or anywhere near it. So, I uh, sheer disappointment through the full camp and um, I thought obviously that's in terms of the result but in terms of performance obviously we knew we had to uh, come up with the goods because Queen of the South only just going to lie down the day and, and uh, roll over this so we, we weren't up to the challenge and uh, didn't see them off so um, probably the right result at the end of the day but I uh, sure this point. The performance seemed quite flat and in terms of it being such a meaningful game it was hard to understand can you do you agree with that? And would you I can't argue with that. I thought um, I thought we started the game all right in terms of the first five ten minutes. So sure, kind of try to look to go forward, tell the doors and um, causing problems. But I think we just kind of uh, took a foot off the gas a wee bit in terms, you know, as the game went on and we gave them kind of uh, the ascendancy to bring the game to us, especially start the second half to get that goal. And as you can imagine, uh, what a lot of teams do when they go up, I go up, uh, especially away from home, just sit in, soak up the pressure, and we didn't have an answer. So you didn't have an answer, how would you assess the reaction to going behind? I thought, uh, even though you know you touched on it yourself, I, I thought, in, in terms of you know a massive, massive game for us, in terms of uh, the points and to get ourselves in a chance in the playoffs, it was, you know, it was... The disappointment comes with the goal going in, but as you say yourself, you know it was it was flat beforehand, uh, and that just kind of put the nail in the coffin. I felt, you know, I'm no questioning the, the boys' effort in, in terms of trying to, you know, grab that goal, even to get an equaliser at the end. Everybody was trying to push for it, and but that just seemed like that, um, as you say, that kind of lack of sharpness, that lack of urgency to go and you know, uh, get a sense and try and nick a goal back and push for the three points. I think the best we were going to get was maybe a couple of chances at the end where they've cleared the ball away and uh, maybe try and nick a point, but as we know, it wasn't going to be much better than what we got. You've been part of this team right from the start, 2014-15. There's a core, are you guys still here? It's been characteristic is that sort of determination go right to the end. We've seen it recently, Jack Ardell's goal, Frank Ross's goal, mm. past seasons. Mm. Wasn't he quite there today? Would you agree with that? Aye, no, certainly. Um, I think, you know, there's been there's been very few times, as you touched on in the past uh, four seasons, where I've thought, ah, we we'll, we'll gave up on this. Uh, and as touched on before we came on, you know, there's been plenty of times where you thought the game's away from us, and we, there's another said I attitude, then, you know, uh, the memories go back to air at home, Stenhouse Muir at home, there's loads and loads of games, big games, especially at Capo, that I can remember where you think to yourself, you're up against it here, but we rolled the sleeves up, managed to get the goals, and uh, in some ways it's more pleasing because, you know, you're comfy behind or whatever, and uh, you might be not playing as well, and get the result, and for the players and for the fans and everybody involved, it's even more pleasing because you show that spirit and that fight. But I have to agree, uh, it wasn't quite there in the same uh, manner of the day, but uh, I think that adds, just adds to the disappointment I, in terms of what could have been. In terms of the league table, I think you're five behind Dundee United and Dunfermline, who both won today, so it's still mathematically possible. What's your assessment of the chances? Is it, is it gone now? Uh, I think you know <laughs> your your heart's telling you uh, there's still something there for us, and there's certainly I can speak for myself and say there's certainly no part of me that's going to go to Paisley next week and say you know we've nothing to play for. That's certainly not the case, um, and I'd like to think you know great belief that the lads will think the exact same, and uh, we need to show that fight and that determination because as you say you can't just say. Ugh, it gets hard for us to, to make it now. We need to set ourselves. We're going to give ourselves as much a chance as possible. We know what this league's like. You can go to places, you have a wee bit of complacency elsewhere. Points can get dropped, points can get gained. 
and we need to believe that it's going to it's going to happen for us. Um, in terms of form and results, it's going to be very hard, and I don't think the uh, United end on firm for a second. They're going to say, you know, we'll take a foot off the gas. Certainly won't happen, but we just need to make sure that we we try and pick up as much points as we can in the next two games and um, see if it is enough. Excellent, Ricky. Thank you very much for your time and commiserations on the result today.